Uh, hello guys, uh, I'm Jay Jananovic and uh, today I'm doing another uh, Adobe Illustrator tutorial uh, on uh, how to create a, a vintage uh, bag a badge uh, like this. Uh, this tutorial uh, contains uh, all, only uh, vector elements and uh, everything uh, <clears throat> is uh, done here. Uh, nothing is copied from the internet and uh, Yes, uh, and probably uh, I'll be doing this tutorial in uh, several parts uh, to to really emphasize uh, all the parts uh, because uh, uh, it is really complex. Uh, for example, I'll show you how to uh, uh, get this uh, kind of a grungy, subtle grunge uh, texture uh, from your own uh, image or how to create uh, this uh, barbed wire. Uh, I'll teach you how to uh, how to make a brush that does all of that and uh, I don't know uh, which in which layer is this but uh, uh, these uh, like edges that that, that look uh, torn out uh, are also vectorized uh, yes and, I, and I'll show you uh, how to do that uh, that too uh, so uh, uh, let's start um, so uh, I won't be uh, commenting uh, every every step that I do. Uh, I suppose you have uh, at least uh, some experience uh, with uh, Adobe Illustrator uh, previous. Uh, so uh, we start from a new uh, document. I like to start uh, with an artboard that is a uh, thousand pixels by 800, and uh, yeah, not 800, and. Uh, since it is very useful uh, to keep <clears throat> uh, along with a color sheen like this, uh, I'll copy these colors uh, back here uh, so uh, we can use them. Uh, once again, uh, it's very useful uh, to uh, stick with this color palette uh, because uh, palette uh, because um, not every color uh, goes well with with uh, another uh, so uh, once you learn uh, how to manage colors in Adobe Illustrator uh, you've you've come a long way then um, so uh, we'll basically start uh, by creating uh, these basic shapes um, here uh, that will be easy uh, so um, since the color I've used here uh, doesn't match uh, with any of these uh, and this is a gradient uh, so that will be the first thing I'll show you today uh, is how to set up a cool looking uh, gradient. Uh, so once again, uh, this uh, color guide here uh, can be very useful for you. Uh, so uh, I'll pick here uh, the vivid nude colors uh, and uh, click uh, this uh, first, I'll call it annotator, uh, and uh, hold Alt. If you hold Alt key and select any color, uh, it, ad it automatically uh, goes into the gradient here. So, and then I, I, I drag this. Uh, <clears throat> I started uh, with the light source uh, from here. So, uh, it's reasonable that the lighter part comes here and the darker one uh, is uh, here. Uh, the next thing uh, I will do is uh, select this and say Control uh, C to copy. Control C to copy, and uh, Control B to paste them back. Uh, so this object now, uh, when I select here, uh, the one that will be selected is the one on top, and we have co copied the one uh, that is in behind, and uh, we'll just make it darker uh, to give it uh, this uh, little uh, nice uh, 3D effect, uh, like. Uh, like here and uh, we will say uh, we'll select this uh, control copy again and control back control uh, pardon me a uh, control B to paste it back and uh, I'll go to the swatches panel and select this light gray color okay um, so uh, next thing uh, that I will show um, 
since we ha we are uh, with uh, gradients, uh, I will say uh, pick this uh, rectangle tool and draw a rectangle, and then uh, I will go uh, to backgrounds and uh, create a light gray uh, uh, gradient background. So. I'll pick these cards and see it's uh, linear and uh, again go from here to here. I think this gray is a bit too dark. So again, click here, uh, Alt and click here. Neat, huh? Uh, we can make this a bit darker so it stands out. And uh, maybe a bit here. Ah, like this. this is better. Or we can say it, uh, make it right radial. This is cool too. Uh, so, okay, uh, the next thing, uh, we'll uh, draw this star. So, okay, uh, we are doing doing only the simple steps uh, in this first video. Uh, we'll uh, say pick this uh, polygon tool. Uh, when I st first started using Adobe, uh, I had trouble uh, selecting these uh, uh, sub panels. Uh, uh, the way you can do this is to click and hold here, and then a menu will show up. Or you you can uh, you or you can uh, hold the Alt key and uh, click click click. Then this switches. So we'll use the star tool and uh, uh, with the smart guides, uh, go to the center here and uh, hold a Shift and Alt and drag. So we have this nice little star. And her color, uh, its color is uh, perfect because it's not uh, too white. It has this uh, gradient applied to it, and that's cool. Um, so it matches somehow in the scene. Uh, and the last thing uh, I will show you for this video uh, is how to uh, make these edges uh, look a bit wavy here. Uh, and uh, I'll show, a, show you a, a pretty simple way uh, of doing that. Uh, you can, you can, uh, for example, click uh, on this path. I'll just make this layer, uh, I don't know, blue to, to see this path. Uh, so I could, for example, uh, use the pen. Is this the yeah pen tool? <laughs> and uh, click here, here, and. Uh, make it like this and I, I would have to do it uh, for the whole circle whole, whole circle and that would definitely take uh, a lot of time uh, what you can do is uh, select this and go uh, to this uh, tool uh, it's called the warp I think it's pronounced warp tool and uh, what we will get here so let me hide this path is something like this uh, when you click and hold uh, it automatically deforms and uh, the tip I will show you uh, here uh, with this warp tool, tool is that you can uh, hold alt and the uh, right uh, mouse key and move move your mouse uh, I'm using a pen so I, I move my pen but it's, it's the same and you can uh, change the shape and the size of this uh, of the area uh, that will to that, that this uh, warp tool uh, will affect. So uh, to make it more make it more uh, detailed, reduce the size of this uh, brush. And uh, we can, uh, I didn't do this on this original, but uh, we can uh, make this shadow look uh, realistic by yeah, making this shape uh, not uh, perfect. Uh, so, uh, folks, uh, that's it for uh, this uh, first video. Um, 
yeah 11 minutes of recording uh, is pretty uh, pretty much uh, so uh, we'll get on uh, to the other stuff in the next video uh, see you later